Man, do you think they'll ever do an action figure of me? <laughs> I hope so. Mr. Incredible. But there's already, <laughs> is there a Mr. Incredible already? Uh, I, well, in the cartoon? The Incredibles. Oh, the Incredibles, but not yep. a Mr. Incredible. Wouldn't it be, have a white t-shirt? I would, that jeans. would be hilarious. Yes, now that's, I love it. That's yeah. funny. Well, behind me is our beloved Lexington. I hate that we've, I felt like we've neglected our models I do lately. Too. We've been running the RJO mm -hmm. and the Incredibox special that we have yeah. for Labor Day. But you guys, listen, we've been selling the hound out of these Lexingtons. We have. Talked to somebody this morning, they're wanting to take one. This is 10 by 24. And I think the big thing about this one is the, the staircase is in the back, kind of mm -hmm. like our Woody, right? Yep. And we've got a laundry room back here, or a, is this the one, Amanda? That's the shower, the bathroom. What I like about it, it makes the L kitchen. Yes. Right? Yes. Our Dalton is one with the with the uh, the pantry in the back. Okay, and, okay. And the uh, washroom. Yes. But with the bathroom in the back, people have talked about, hey, I don't want my kitchen and my bathroom across from each other. Mm -hmm. This kind of puts a staircase, bathroom in the back, and then everything forward is your kitchen and living room. Mm-hmm. The one thing about these homes, our models, is what we've kind of put them all together, mm -hmm. is they all have the architectural um, textures, that yes. I always say that, that come with these homes. And let mm -hmm. me just point them out to you a little bit. And of course you can see them. It's the 30 inch overhang right here. Not 24, not 27, but 30, all right? And it's stain grade polyurethane soffit underneath that, yes. right? Yes. And it's a beautiful contrast with the freeze board. Now the freeze board is that white diagonal board that goes up against the stained wood. It comes with an air exchanger. It comes with this decorative light. It comes with the board and batten green in the gable. Then another freeze board underneath it that distinguishes between the vertical and the horizontal. It is so All that is just it. the carpentry architecture that gives this its beautiful look. It makes it look like a home, an actual home. You got it. The corbel brackets on the sides yep and then of course you guys can see the dormer up top yes and the dormer is built the same way as the lower overhang same with the 30 inch overhang the corbels and then we also have these faux rafters that are sticking out and that gives it the image that the presence of having old rafters it's the old craftsman style homes that are up oh. in California, built back in the 30s and 40s, and that spread across the United States, right? In a big, beautiful time of when carpenters were carpenters, man. Now, if something, if I could call something handsome, our models are handsome. They are. They, uh, that's the word I would say, because right over there is the uh, the Charleston, of course, yeah. uh, and, a, and a few of our others that are over here, but these are just handsome looking models. And they, men, do they fit? They fit in the woods. They do. They fit in in the field. Somewhere fancy yep. and stuff. They fit in almost any I know. environment. They really you know, do. In a Florida environment. Yes. In a Washington State, mm -hmm. California, even in a, like in a Michigan Midwest environment. You're right. I think they look great. And because we're using this LP siding that's highly weatherable, mm -hmm. durable, 30, so 40 durable. year warranty on the paint. The, yeah. The actual, you know how they build this stuff is they take aspen chips. It has to be aspen or trees, right? Really? Wood chips. Yes. Six inches thick, impregnated with 80% wax. And then wow. they compress it down to a half inch thick. So 80%, there's only 5%, I think, is it called inert? May not be that word, but yeah. which is a chemical, right? Only 5%, the rest of it is all natural yeah. materials mm -hmm. in this right here. I love, look at this on the end. It just looks, just now great. that's the picture window. We can put a bay window on this thing if you'd like. Oh right? really? Okay. We can add to it. If yes. you guys want a bay window, let us know. We do have those amenities that can be added to. Right. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, let's go inside. We've not been in this one in a while. Oh. Oh wow. Remember look, the color that you picked out? I picked these colors. Added the tile. Yes. Look at this. That is beautiful. And it looks like um it looks like tile. Yeah. Now <clears throat> it's this home is completely finished. The walls are already white. The trim is already uh, polyurethane. It's the ceiling is polyurethane. Everything is finished inside. All you need is your furniture and your personal items. Yes. Look at this. It's just awesome. I love it. I mean, you got a big living room, an L-shaped kitchen, farm-style sink, gooseneck faucet. You got your cooktop, range hood, microwave. Of course. This can ha handle a full-size refrigerator. Yes, a nice fridge. 
if you wanted to do on the, uh, live on the bottom floor, of course, you can still put mm -hmm. a twin bed here or here, you know, or a trundle bed or what Whatever do you call you them? Um, day bed. Day bed. Yep. Uh huh. Enough room for a full size sofa, sleeper sofa. It can have a desk for computers. This is a large room. It is a large and room. You guys know all the time, I've always made these floor plans as one big room. And this home will never feel like a tiny home to you. It no. will not crunch in you. I know nope. a lot of men are like, you're not going to get me in a tiny home, you know? But look at this. You got these big ceilings, big room. You can have a full size sofa. Yes. You can have a big screen TV. Mm -hmm. You can have your room. Now, up here is a loft. Mm -hmm. Now, it's tiny home living, right? Yeah. And in my head, I'm always thinking, you know, we have a, a height that we have to stick with is 13 foot six inches. That's why we can't go any higher on these. Yeah. But that's about 43 inches high from the floor to the ceiling. You can put a you can put way more than a king size bed up there. Oh, absolutely. But all you're doing is sleeping up there. That's it. All right, tiny home. There I you got it. I love it. All right, as you want to come back through here, we have this small hallway. Yeah. Which we hardly ever have hallways in a home. Mm -hmm. To your bathroom and then the staircase that goes upstairs. Absolutely. Got a barn door out here on the outside. Yeah. yeah they got it for they shipping. They got it secured. Yeah. Yep. Up here okay. With a screw. But regular toilet, vanity, 36 inch shower. So toilet, vanity, 36 inch shower. Yes. You know, this is a little bit like the Luann. It's very much like the Luann. You know what? It's very much like the Luann. Yeah, staircase in the back, this right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just thought of that. Because I like the 36 inch shower. She's yes. got her toilet tank over here. Mm -hmm. Let you me know? twist around. I'll get and the shower. And the vanity shower. is right there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is a stand up washer and dryer. It is, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love, Love it. it. It's very. Yeah. Very nice. So everything is finished. The walls are finished. The trim is, is your thing. It's, you just, and these you are all, just yeah. to remind everybody, these are all, all, all our models mm -hmm. are Amish built. Yes. And what that means, listen, whenever the Amish came to us and they wanted to work with us, they learned what Randy taught them because right. there's a certain style that Randy builds. So a certain yeah. style that he did, it had to be figured out. And it took years to do that. It and did. you shared that with them. And they were so excited, so grateful. We're super receptive of what yes. we had and, and respectful of our of our type of building. Yes. They, you know what they told me? They said, you know, Randy, we're not used to building like this. No, they're not. They said building a tiny home is like building furniture. Mm -hmm. And this tep, this group of Amish that we work with, which we're good friends with them now, yes. is they, um, they build sheds. Mm -hmm. They build pole barns. They're framers. They're yes. just big builder guys, right? And when it comes to this... It's like building furniture. It is. And, and furniture is finicky and it's yeah. it's more detailed and there's things, you know, and this is a tiny home. It is still a home, but it's a tiny home. So when carpenters, when people come to interview with Randy or Tom, they say, oh yeah, I can build. Well, you got to, it's a, there's all kinds of different ways to build. You correct? Got yes. Point this out, Amanda. Okay. Just right here. Mm -hmm. See this trim? Yes. Up here. Mm -hmm. You know, all across here. I see it. Mm -hmm. And see how they meet here and it comes yes. down. And listen, not every job is going to be perfect. I'm not saying this is perfect, but their cuts are really nice put together. Over here, you can see the loft is put together. That's having, when you see that right there, what I see is that they have pride in what they're doing. Yeah. And they have actually listened and learned by what they were taught. Yeah, and it's taken a long time because, it took a long time. you know, they would do a house and then when it came back, and it wouldn't be what we wanted. It mm -hmm. wasn't. And so now we have a supervisor that mm -hmm. actually lives in Kentucky. That we provide. That we provide. We're mm -hmm. paying for all that. And he yes. actually goes through and critiques the quality of the home and the, and the scheduling of the homes. And he's able to help them because of the picture taking and the technology. That because they are challenged with their religion of, you know, I'm telling you, it took a lot to work with them. Yeah. It was a big challenge and stuff because of the, the limitations that they have with machinery and phones and, and computers yeah. and technology and things like that. But that's the way that you chose to overcome it. Said, hey, you know what? They're worth the investment. Yeah. Let's get them a supervisor that we provide. And the supervisors up there, they we provide the home, we provide the truck, we provide the everything. So yeah. it's an extra expense to us, but in the long run, you felt that this was yeah, and worth it. It's it's a little bit more expensive it is. to do that. We're paying by the job, not by the hour, and we have a supervisor right. that's actually up there too. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> we're 
we're building an industry. Yes. And nowhere in the country is anybody employing a, a group of people like that, no. training them, and then they're able to work at home. Mm -hmm. You know, what do they call them? Cottage, cottage um, businesses? Oh, I that think. I don't know. So you're able to work at home. Like, you know, like my mom used to get her hair cut by the lady yes. down the street. Mm -hmm. She at worked home. at home, mm -hmm. had a little place out in the garage. Yeah. Where pretty, all the ladies come and get their hair done, you know. Yes. But they get to work at home. They get to be with their families, make a great living. They're doing better than they did if Making they traveled great to a money. job site. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're excited. We like them. They like us. And they have solid work. They don't have to go out and look for work, number one, which is a was a challenge for them. Yeah. And they don't have to go to a, um, I guess, a, a traditional employment place that maybe they don't completely right. agree and stuff, but they have to feed their families and, they had to take, and have a job. Well, they had to hire people to take them to take them in a truck or car to mm -hmm. a job site. The now they just walk outside. The challenges are unbelievable. Yeah, so they love us. We love them. Yes. It's working out really well. It was a, it was an idea that I had when they just walked up. David you did a great and, job. Uh, Jonathan walked up. Yes. And it just, it just came to me just yeah. like that. So that was a, it was a smart move because it was you knew it was going to be hard, yeah. But it it worked out. Yeah. So it's been we, three years now. You know what? It? Everything's hard. Everything's hard. You in know the one beginning. thing, Minda, that we do is we just don't quit. We don't quit. We you keep know, working. Yeah, and I, I don't ever think about quitting. I know. It's yeah, just, you I just know. get it done. You Gotta you do make it. it happen. It is going to work. It's going to work. You know, everybody wakes up in the morning mm -hmm. either sore, sad. Mm -hmm. You got to look at the day. You got to get yourself fired up and you got to get out yes. there and hit the day. And everybody has a little bit of res reservations about the day. And mm -hmm. I understand that. It's that next step that gets you successful and makes you make something happen for the day. Yeah. It's that next step that says, I'm not going to think about what I got to do. Yes. I'm just going to do it. This morning, I turned my shower on, right? I don't mm -hmm. have a water heater out there. So the guys took my gas bottle. <laughs> so what, I just turn it on. So it's cold. And I just, I mean, you know, in the morning, your body's really, mm -hmm. it's like, you just, you just want to stay warm. And I stepped into that cold shower. I just, <laughs> and we went at it. And I was like, you know what? And I used to do that when I was in my 20s because we didn't have any hot water at this gym that my buddy and I owned. It was a, just a little gym. And it was good for me then, and I didn't know about it. Now everybody's doing it, right? And so now that it's kind of that shock therapy is good for me, but it's something that you don't want to do. You need to do stuff you don't want to do. Not all stress is bad. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why we're getting off into this stuff, but you've got to have you got well, a little bit of Well, it's a part of it because I'm going to tell you something. We would have quit early on had we not just kept pushing with the Amish. Yeah. It was a challenge. Yes. It was very hard. Nothing that they did wrong, but it was a challenge for both of us, them yeah. and us. So we would have quit. We would have quit. We wouldn't have got this property here in Newport. We would have stayed at Inca. We would have quit a long time ago in the backyard. Wouldn't have even went to Inca. I mean, we were in your backyard, so, uh, raining, oh, it was mud, mess. snow. Of course, I was used to doing that all the time. But man, and then, and then we didn't sell enough homes. And I, I had know. to go build a house in Arkansas just to make ends meet. And it's been, it's been a challenge. It's to get been here. a challenge, this yeah. business. We, I could list the negativities to fill this room, right? And for some reason, we just swam straight through them. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there's been, I can't tell you how many people have actually just tried to stop us. Yeah. And tried to put, you know, barricades in front of us and try to just break your spirit. Yes. Purposely, probably. But for mm -hmm. some reason, I got a denseness about me that I just, it never penetrates. Yeah. It kind of hits you. And you kind of got to get it out of you. And then you just keep on rocking. There's never, ever been from any negativity that we have ever had. It's never made us just, no. I'm going to get out of this. Well, no. And two, the, the other thing is that this is bigger than us. It was bigger than us in the backyard when Tom came on, when Joseph came on, when Wayne was over there, now when Bryce was over there. When, and now it's it's like you feel the responsibility of another person when you have an em employees and stuff yeah. or coworkers. You have a responsibility to them. And it's like, okay, yeah, I could be super selfish yeah. right now, but I have got to do something to keep this going. You got to do something. Well, I know we're talking about all this stuff. We're talking I know. About well, how did we get off on this? But I had, you know, we, we are all evolving. There's things that we all learn. Yes. I, did, I don't, I don't know everything every day that I go, I go into this and a lot no. of things I have to, I have to evolve and think and, and create mm -hmm. as I go. And one of it is managing all these people, yes. you know, almost 90 employees here I that I manage. And for me to, to inspire and to motivate and to pay and to listen 
and to organize and, and, and to care about them and make sure the longevity of mm-hmm. them being here. I didn't know all that stuff. I still don't know. Still and, don't know. You know, it is. it can be daunting to even think about how can I keep this environment in a place that's a good working environment that is positive mm-hmm. and that helps them. They all got their own stories, their own life they that do. is going on that can affect building here. Mm-hmm. And then I've also got to be a disciplinarian, you know? I know. And, it's, and I hate to say it, it's almost like me being a father or a dad it is. to everybody here. I'm, I'm about the oldest guy here, and I, mm-hmm. you know, I have to actually give a lot of advice and run and then think you about do. all these people that work well, here. It's very, and it's very much, it is like a father, and it's very much like what I think we would see a principal of a school. Um, they're, they're always kind of like a father figure yeah. in that way, too, and you're responsible. So everything good that happens comes falling on your shoulders, and anything bad that yeah. happens definitely comes and falls on your shoulders. So yeah. it's something that we're very mindful of, and we're just just walking around in here today talking about the it, Amish. It. Makes it worth it. It's yeah. like, you know what? Yeah, you want to show that good. lot? Yeah, let me go up. Okay, so here's the back. Hey, and everything we've just talked about is what's created this model. It has. It's created this gorgeous model that you guys can see in this. Yeah. Yep. This is called the Lexington. The okay? Lexington. Yeah, so this house is 79.9, 10 by 24. This L-shaped kitchen I know is a real catch eye catcher for everybody when they come in here because it's not kitchen bathroom like in some of our models that we have like the Birmingham and I think the Charleston, but what I do like is the idea that, you know, we've had a real popular model come out called the Luann. We had so many people like Luann's house that she designed. And so we come out, yeah, Luann will do it, right? Now this is actually almost a Luann house. Hers is 10 by 28, but the kitchen is down here. Mm -hmm. So it comes across here and here. And then she has her living room here. So by putting, in my head, I put the L-shaped kitchen on this end and we and not in the middle of the room, right? It's just a flip-flop is all. But yeah. when you think about it, her staircase was in the back. Mm-hmm. Her bathroom was right there. The yeah. loft was right there. Everything's about the same mm-hmm. except for the kitchen. Yeah, correct. So there you have it. Hope that helps you guys with floor plans, tweaking them. Go on to our website. We have a lot of CGI videos, drawings, floor plans, Beautiful your competitor, CGI. there you have it. You got enough, you can build them and do them yourself if you like. Look at them, see what floor plan matches your home, your lifestyle. Remember, if you're a guy, there's enough living space in here to put you a full size sofa, mm-hmm. right? And I've thought about this, believe me guys, you're sitting here and you got a big old sofa and everybody's like, I can't get in a big old, I don't know why all men talk like this. They I can't don't. get in a house like that. They it's don't. small for me. Hey, but. <laughs> You got a big sofa here, and right behind Amanda, I'm gonna show you, you got room for a big screen TV, yeah. right? And I've thought about this, so okay, so why do I gotta have more space? I don't know. Here's your living room, right? You have a coffee table if you like, or you can have two lazy boy chairs right there. Mm-hmm. Well, I gotta get me something out of the fridge. You're gonna walk over here, and here's your fridge. So instead of taking 22 steps down the hall, right, to the kitchen, here's your fridge. Better off right here. You open your fridge, get you something to eat. Keep get you, watching TV. Get you, yeah, hey, there you go. Get you a slap of baloney on there and look baloney. at Baloney. Get you a drink of water and you're heading back. Boom, one, two steps, you're back. You didn't miss nothing, <laughs> right? So I got living room and I got my kitchen. That's right. Well, Randy, I want to sit at the dining room table and eat. All right, one, two, and I got me a dining room table, right? And I'm still watching my TV. <laughs> How do you like that? That's but you guys think, oh, I gotta have me a big old house. And gotta be 4,200 square feet. No burn pay taxes on the rest of my life and pay over the world. You don't need it. 79.9, completely done. You don't have to paint it. You don't have to trim it. You don't have to do any carpentry work. Move in, all right? And then you got a king size loft up here that y'all can just take six steps and lay down. Everybody, I'm Randy Jones, Incredible Tiny Homes. Come see me. 850 Industrial Road, Newport, Tennessee. Come live the dream with us. Come see how the American dream was formed right here. See ya.